Lately, I've been talking about how we organize photos here at Pixology, and I've mentioned that other people organize pictures differently. So <laughs> there are five different ways or more to do anything in life, and that's why today I'm gonna tell you why we organize photos the way we do. I'm Molly Bartelt and I own Pixology where we've organized millions of print and digital pictures for our clients over the past 10 years. We've certainly learned some tricks along the way and we love sharing what we've learned so that you can organize your photos confidently and get it done. The definition of organize is to arrange or put things in a systematic order, making them neat and structured. Now, someone just emailed me a little bit ago and they mentioned that they were seeing more and more this trend of don't organize stuff, just put it in a big pile and use a powerful tool to search for it. Well, searching for photos doesn't work as well as one might hope. Our system for organizing photos is very particular, all right? print pictures we organize into batches. We use three sorts. We organize first by decade and then we take the decades and sort them into years and the years we sort into months. So we end up with these little batches of pictures in chronological order. All right, it's a little more complicated than that, but essentially we're just trying to get batches of pictures. These batches then get scanned. And then you have decade folders on your computer of your scans, decades with the years inside and the months and special events inside the years. All right, that's the print side. The digital side of organizing pictures has a lot of moving parts from old camera cards to external hard drive to pictures on your computer and of course your phone pictures. We teach that you're gonna organize these also chronologically for the most part. We have the photos to organize folder and the master family photos folder. Anything that's not organized is in that photos to organize folder and then the folders you have cleaned up end up in the master family photos folder. If you want a deeper dive into the system that we teach to save photos, watch the video up there. So our system really revolves around chronological as being the primary structure for our collection. Some people like to organize by person, topic, or theme. So you could have like folders for each of your family members, or you could have folders for different holidays, things like that. I've also seen people organize their digital pictures by how the photos were taken or by whom the photos were taken. So you might have photos from the smartphone, the DSLR camera, photos from an iPad, or photos from your significant other, you could have your photos arranged that way as well. In terms of print pictures, I've seen people organize chronologically by person. I've also seen people just keep their pictures based on what album they came from. So you might have like a green gold trimmed album that is one batch of pictures and then the floral album is another batch of pictures. That could work as well. Those are some of the options for organizing your pictures in terms of the structure of your photo collection. We, of course, teach that you would organize these in folders on your computer, but there are other ways to organize your photos. You can use an app on your phone, a program on your computer, or a cloud storage site. As far as apps on your phone, of course, iPhone users have photos and this goes up to iCloud and Android users have Google Photos, which goes up to Google Photos. These two apps are the holders of all the photos that you take and they organize them chronologically for you. In addition, they do have powerful search features so you can search by topic or theme and they will probably surprise you on the results that come up. For instance, if you search for dog, all the dog photos will come up. Now, the problem with <laughs> these apps which we are kind of married to because of our phones, is they have all the junk that you take pictures of in there as well. So that is why we like to 
separate our pictures from Google Photos and Apple Photos because we really want to isolate the family photos and preserve those. I know a lot of people think very highly of Google Photos and Apple Photos, but I love this line that someone sent to me a while back. He writes, uh, my friends tell me how great Google Photos is, but I can't fathom how you can organize a photo collection as big as mine. And people really do have tens of thousands of photos for sure. And he goes on how to organize a photo collection as big as mine with just albums and searching. Call me OCD, but organizing with folders and subfolders is an absolute must. The person recognition, searching and albums are also important, but not as important to me as the organizing. I wholeheartedly agree with this gentleman and was glad that he shared that with me. I don't know how anyone else feels, but that's why we're sharing the options here. You might choose to use a photo management program to organize your photos. We talk a lot about Milio. There's Photoshop Elements, Forever Historian, and there's other ones out there as well. Usually this involves importing the pictures in, doing your edits with them, and then if you want to use or share them, you have to export them or it's difficult to uh, for people to see what you've done with the pictures. The other challenge with photo management programs is people don't really have good habits on maintaining the collection. So if you let three months, six months, or three years go by, and then you go back to the program to work on your photos, chances are you might have a new computer, there's been an upgrade, and all the work you had done could be lost. So you have to be really careful and dedicated if you're gonna use a photo management program. Lastly, you might choose to organize your photos in a cloud storage site. We highly recommend Forever, but we like for pictures to be organized before we upload them to Forever. You also have SmugMug and, and there's other options as well. I think that when you have thousands and thousands of pictures to organize, scrolling through them online can get really annoying because they have to load and then you're scrolling and it just takes time. I think it's much more efficient to organize pictures directly on your computer. All right, we've talked about the structure of your photo organization, and we've talked about how you can organize photos. So let me tell you why we choose to use folders on our computer to organize pictures chronologically. First of all, your computer is the fastest way to organize pictures from copying to moving to deduplicating. There is nothing that is more efficient than working on your computer, assuming that you have a decent one that's fairly new. If your computer is over four years old or has a very small amount of storage, like 250 gigabytes or less, you might wanna to choose to get a new computer to make your photo organizing efforts more enjoyable. Having a concrete folder structure organized chronologically tells you exactly what pictures are where in your collection. If you want to organize by topic or theme or person, you can use other things to do that. You can tag your photos. You can use facial recognition to bring your pictures of certain people together. There's other ways to do that. If you try splitting up pictures by person, you're gonna end up with a nice family event split up in multiple folders and you won't know the whole event story because the pictures are all over the place. So that's why we like chronological order. And when you have a folder structure, your family photos will be together and then you can have another folder for your pictures for information that we all seem to take. Once your folders are all set in the Master Family Photos folder, then upload them to Forever where you can enjoy and share and your collection is just beautiful to, to look at all of the moments that you've preserved. So what do you think? Does folders make sense on your computer chronologically? Or do you fall on the camp of wanting to organize your pictures differently? Tell me in the comments below. I'd really love to know and your thoughts might help someone else who's not sold on chronological order in folders on your computer.
I sure hope this was helpful for you, but if you're sitting there pulling your hair because you just don't know where to start and you'd really rather not do it at all, we would love to help. You can click the link and schedule an appointment with us and we'll see what we can do for you. And if you still would like to learn a little bit about the challenges of doing this yourself, watch this video next. It's kind of a fun look at the challenges of organizing pictures. All right, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you again. Thank you.